Welcome back to another video guys and today um, the second and final video for update 3.1 and today we're going to be talking about all the changes uh, happening to Guild Wars for the second season. Now let's begin. So first of all season 2 begins on February the 6th and uh, the guild shop ha rewards are going to be changed obviously you're going to be getting a lot of uh, normal tokens hero tokens uh, again get the uh, guild war gas and other items but the highlights of this one is going to be that the featured hero is going to be survivalist rick and there is going to be a new weapon the devil's torch now this is uh, an improved version uh, for the rpg and it's going to have a fourth building in century trait so you're gonna have 30 percent chance to ignite a whole crowd of walkers it looks pretty cool i really love the graphics of this weapon uh so i'm gonna try and get it uh in the second season of guild wars all right moving on the victory points to reach tiers have been reduced so now more guilds should be able to reach those higher level tiers Next up, Guild War Gas is going to be increased throughout all the game modes. So you're going to be able to get more Guild War Gas. Now there's going to be more information to follow on that, exactly how much and what changes are going to be done. Uh, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated when new info pops up. Right, um, next thing about the difficulty. Uh, some missions are going to be changed. So the missions in the right uh, hand side sectors are going to be more difficult and they're going to be more PvE uh, missions. Uh, in these sectors. Uh, next thing, battle joining restrictions. Now, I'm not quite sure if this can be considered an exploit, but basically some guilds, what they did is that um, players would sign up for a battle and then they would leave the guild. And when you leave the guild, this affects the whole matchmaking because I think it fools the system to think this player is not in a battle or something. I'm not sure how this one worked. And then after the battle started, these players will rejoin the guild and then participate in a battle. But the battle is going to be significantly easier, uh, easier enemies uh, to fight. Um, so obviously this is not how Guild Wars was supposed to be uh, played. So right now, basic players who join a Guild War uh, battle while the battle is underway, they'll have to wait until the next battle to sign up. Uh, because until now, you can do basically join a guild and just use your key and go straight into the battle. But now you have to wait for the battle to finish. And yeah, it's a nice change. I guess it doesn't really affect me. Now, the next thing is that there's going to be only 20 players per war that can contribute to victory points. So basically right now, there were some guilds that actually would uh, use different players to hop in and out to actually play wars and to gather a lot more VP. Uh, so you can really increase your uh, rewards and uh, uh, guild rankings in the leaderboards right now to, to ensure the fairness They're going to basically allow only the first 20 people in the guild to contribute to the uh, VP It's only restricted to 20 people Well that being said, I think you can still play the, uh, the wars and still get reward points But it's just that you won't be able to contribute VPs uh, for the overall uh, guild score uh, to be shown in the leaderboards All right and the final uh, improvement is that there's going to be difficulty displays throughout various screens. I, I believe the team selections. Uh, yeah. Right. And, and now let's move on to the bug fixes. There's so many bug fixes done in this update, especially to do with Guild Wars. And I'm finding I cannot wait for Guild Wars to be uh, bug free. Hopefully, fingers crossed. You know, uh, you know what happens can happen in every update. First of all, sign up period. Basically. Uh, they're going to be increasing the sign-up period. So in 3.1, you'll be able to be signed up for 4 hours until the battle begins. So you won't be able to have to log in every 1 hour if your guild is asleep and you have to log in again to put yourself that you're available. It's going to be 4 hour long period so you don't have to log in every time. Now, uh, the next bug that was fixed. Players stuck on the registering screen where it says less than 1 minute remaining. Uh, this is now fixed and nobody else should be getting it and uh, yeah. 5 uh, guild war gas after battle basically there was a, a visual bug where the total amount of guild war gas wasn't properly updated and basically this made you think that you actually never got those free gas at the end of uh, each battle but this bug has now been fixed and uh, you are, are going to be seeing this gas added um, accordingly uh, now um some players have had problems with like disconnecting and being kicked out of the server when they do battles in guild wars uh, this would cause a lot of the players to miss the VP that they have earned. This is one of the key bugs that actually was reported and affected many players. So basically they're encouraging players to have always stable and strong internet connection. 
uh, and also they're gonna be continuing monitoring this I don't know if this is actually a server thing or it could be just because of your internet connection to be honest uh, but yeah they'll keep monitoring this and we'll see what's gonna happen uh, the next thing is that some guilds you can see that there are 11 players uh, out of 10 in battle basically these are the spectators somebody has been looking at the battle and they've been counted uh, I don't think they actually Obviously spectators cannot play, I think this is just a visual bug that shows uh, it is a spectator as well So that's going to be fixed as well um, Basically another thing is that there was a bug where it shows only a couple of players in that guild Let's say you had 8 players and the other guild only had 3 players But this is a, a bug to do with some connection issues um, described above in one of the other bugs that was fixed And then basically even though you couldn't see them, those players were still there and were still contributing the points But you just couldn't see them And again another visual bug which has been fixed um, uh, Yeah uh, Next thing um, I really don't understand this point, I swear I don't understand, I'm just gonna drop it on the screen <laughs> You guys can read it uh, next thing, um, alright, so restocking issues, basically the, the way Guild Wars were restocking didn't always work out quite well uh, So basically Guild Shot offers are gonna be uh, restocking in the same lay uh, And there's gonna be a two tips that are gonna be added to show that each when each item is going to be restocked Yes, this bug actually the calculating score screen basically freezes and you have the loading screen going and going to calculating the score But then it freezes and uh, apparently they have made changes to fix that uh, because sometimes it just takes ages to show the final score The spectating bug, now, basically players were uh, uh, spectating wars because they found out that you can actually get a free 5 gas just by spectating wars This has now been fixed uh, and uh, this wasn't something that they intended to do in the first place but overall they're gonna be adding more gas throughout the game mode so you should be able to get m a lot more gas overall uh, than, than it is right now or than it was right now Yes, next thing a battle start notification is finally going to be fixed because so far you really didn't get any Notification when a battle was underway, especially with that four hour signing up period now um, That a battle start notification is going to be uh, uh, really really uh, 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 Important to have so you're never gonna be able to miss a battle again now Next up, leaderboard refresh times. So um, some of these were not really accurate. So basically, they're not going to be constant, constantly updating a, a leaderboard during a battle, uh, but they're going to only update the leaderboards when the battle is completed. All right. Next up, battle refresh times. Oh, so this is the keys. So basically, everybody is going to get the keys uh, at the same time instead of just uh, getting the keys when the 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 first time the player logins. Um, Yep, uh, reward multiplayer, the values uh, were incorrect, in, uh, were basically in the incorrect positions and this some caused some confusions which has now been fixed and uh, moving on now, um, the uh, metalheads walkers, yes, the bug which really annoyed me basically when you have a hunter and there is a walker in front of metalhead, that walker will not die uh, and this has now been fixed because metalheads are initially supposed to protect only walkers behind them, not walkers in front of them. And I cannot wait to use my hunters again and to deal more damage. Right, moving on to bugs which are not really uh, Guild War related, they're just a couple. First of all, uh, human enemies. For some reason, there was a bug which made all human enemies appear as cows throughout the game. So this wasn't intentional. So next games have returned the rifles and the swords to the human enemies. Um... Next up, Hunter Darrow, new hero, it has a bug with the leader trait. Basically, when you use the leader trait Prow, uh, the retaliate, revenge, and punish traits will not work as uh, properly uh, as they were supposed to. This has now been fixed. And also, um, uh, basically, his trait was also ignoring the second action point that you get. So, this, uh, so you're going to be able to move even if you still have an action point. All right, the final change is that the, uh, uh, the chainsaw weapon, when you use it with Michonne's leader trait, uh, there's gonna be the chance of decreasing the threat was not working properly. So now when the, you have a warrior equipped with a chainsaw with Michonne's leader trait in effect, they have a chance to decrease the threat level as it was originally intended. And that's it uh, to do with Guild Wars and a lot of changes, a lot of improvements and bug fixes happening, uh, patching certain things, improving others, fixing visual glitches and basically, yeah. 
I cannot wait for the second season of Guild Wars to start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always I'll see you all in my next video.